Carl Ernst von Baer disapproved the mutation theory of evolution. This is incorrect. B approved the mutation theory of evolution. This is also incorrect. Mutation theory was given by Hugo de Vries. C disapproved the embryological support for evolution given by Ernst Haeckel. This is correct. Carl Ernst von Baer disapproved the biogenetic law given by the Ernst Haeckel and biogenetic law states that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. D approved the embryological support for evolution given by Ernst Haeckel. This is incorrect. So correct answer to this question is option number C. Proceeding to the next question, question states that the gene which codes for the proteins involved in the replication of the plasmid is termed. And the options given are first option selectable marker. This cannot be a correct answer because selectable markers are used to distinguish recombinants from non recombinant host cells. B ROP. This is correct choice because ROP codes for the proteins which are involved in the replication of the plasmid. C ORI. This is again incorrect. ORI is the sequence from where replication starts. D. Antibiotic resistance. This is also incorrect. Antibiotic resistant gene, they are used as selectable marker. So, correct answer to this question is option number B, ROP. Proceeding to the next question, high concentration of LH and estrogen lead to and the options given are release of ovum from secondary follicle. This is incorrect. B. Release of uterus from the primary follicle. This is also incorrect. C. Release of ovum from the graphene follicle. This is correct. Release of ovum from the tertiary follicle. This is also incorrect. Now let us understand. Here you can see primary follicle, secondary follicle, tertiary follicle and then tertiary follicle grows mature to form graphene follicle. In primary follicle, oocyte is primary oocyte which is suspended at prophase 1. In both secondary and tertiary follicle, in secondary follicle, oocyte is primary oocyte suspended at prophase 1. In tertiary follicle, Primary oocyte completes meiosis 1 to form secondary oocyte and first polar body. Tertiary follicles then grows to form graphene follicle. Graphene follicle in presence of LH hormone ruptures to release ovum and this process is known as ovulation. So, correct answer to this question is option number C, release of ovum from the graphene follicle. Proceeding to the next question, compound epithelium is multi-layered which covers the and the options given are inner surface of bronchioles. On inner surface of bronchioles, ciliated epithelium is present. Here you can see ciliated epithelium. This epithelium is present on inner lining of bronchioles. So, this cannot be a correct answer and the ciliated epithelium is simple epithelium and we have to choose the location where compound epithelium that is multi-layered epithelium is present. B inner surface of fallopian tubes. This is also incorrect because it is lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. C inner lining of ducts of salivary glands. This is correct because on the inner lining of ducts of salivary glands, compound epithelium is present, which is multi-layered epithelium. Option D, walls of ASX of lungs. This is incorrect because in the walls of ASX of lungs, squamous epithelium is present. So, correct answer to this question is option number C, inner lining of ducts of salivary glands. Proceeding to the next question, question states that which among the following is an example of a crossbreed and the options given are Tygon, Hinny, Hisardale and Mule. Tygon, Hinny 
and mule are result of interspecific hybridization while hissardale is result of a cross breed hissardale is produced by crossing beaconary ewes and merino rams while tigon which is a result of cross between tiger and lioness is example of interspecific hybridization mule mule is a result of cross between male donkey and female horse while hinny is result of cross between male horse and female donkey so correct answer to this question is option number c hissardale proceeding to the next question 